Alright guys, I got a story for you today. Um, one time me and my buddy were in Nevada and we were checking out a, one of our favorite gun shops. Now this shop is basically a toy store for gun owners. Like, I mean, when you walk in there, they've got the coolest, rarest guns. Like, you know, they never have the same inventory. It's always like awesome different things. So it's almost like a surprise every time you go. And we were really excited because we don't get down there too often. It's called Maccabees, by the way, in Nevada. If you ever get a chance to stop by, it is an awesome place to check out. Everything's hands-on, so they'll tell you, like, hey, man, you know, go ahead and feel free. You can pick up the guns and check them out and stuff. But they also, like, encourage a very safe environment. So it's, it's awesome. So we get there, and we're hanging out, and we're checking out all the cool guns. And then this, this other customer rolls in right behind us, and this is... I try not to like uh, take this the wrong way, but this guy is huge and I'm talking like just ginormous like he is a meatball on wheels Okay, he's also got the stereotypical like 10 gallon hat the southern drawl and it's like he's got this shirt on that just has like basically offensive like I don't want to get into the details but offensive language towards um, illegal immigrants and so like you can tell that this guy is bad news, all right? Anyway, you know, we're not there to judge. We're just there to look at cool guns and stuff. He looks around for a little bit, minding his own business, and then another customer rolls in. Now, this guy, you know, he seems like the average uh, white collar. You know, he comes in like uh, maybe it's after work. He's got his business suit on. He's a very clean-cut gentleman. He comes in, and he's just an honest guy looking for his first gun. Now, he starts talking to one of the employees because it just makes sense to get, you know, the employee's opinion. So the employee introduces um, a Glock to him. Now, um, this is a, you know, fairly standard gun and it's usually a very uh, introductory gun for someone who's looking for their first gun. It's easy to use, easy to maintain, a lot of benefits to someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with firearms. So he's looking for personal protection. And uh, the guy doesn't know much about calibers and things like that, so the employees kind of go in a little bit more into details with, like, what, uh, what might guide his purchase, okay? So, very reasonable choice. For some reason, the meatball on wheels decides that it is his God-given duty to give his personal opinion about whether, you know, what guns are good and what not. So, he rolls in, and he's just like... I carry a 45, and it, all you need is 45. It's seven rounds in my 1911. And that's all you need. If you don't, if you don't do the job in seven rounds, you're doing it wrong. I carry a 1911 on me every day, America. And like, this is the crazy part is he's so fat that like just looking at him it's like I feel like he could hide a few 1911s under the fat rolls and I'm like I'm just like w where's the gun like holy crap you know like and he's just like coming in and he's like I don't want to get into details about what exactly he said because he starts doing like racial slurs against um you know the illegal immigrants of that type in the south in that area and he's like how oh, they're locked took their jabs you know like the typical south park type guy you know i mean it was just appalling the the shop owner was cut off in mid-sentence in terms of what he was trying to tell the guy the guy doesn't even know what to say he's speechless and we're just looking over at the guy like is this really happening i mean like not that I have anything against 1911s. Like, 1911s, awesome gun, but it, it's a complicated gun. They do require a lot more maintenance. And, I mean, 45 is expensive, and it, I mean, it's not like it's hard to shoot, but it is something different that you'll want to try later. But 9mm is generally highly recommended for beginners, okay? And it's just like... He's just, like, blowing my mind, like, how, like, racist he is and how, like, he's just, like, imposing his will, right? Now, after he finishes his spiel, he's just like, oh, you need seven rounds, right? Then he turns back and he's looking at other stuff. The shop owner, the guy who's looking for a gun, and my friend and I were just, like, it's just that awkward silence after he finishes. And the guy doesn't even know that he's done anything wrong. He's just like looking around like he's got a smug look on his face. He's like, I did my God-given duty. It's passing on the good word, you know, like, this is America, right? And I'm just like, holy shit. And I'm doing everything I can just not to, like, burst out laughing at how ridiculous this is. 
Um, anyway, the guy decides that he's had his fill and he's done his duty, so he just heads out of here. So he once he bombs out, everyone just bursts out laughing. And it kind of starts with the clerk. He's basically just like, right? Like, just... He can't hold it in anymore, and like the new, the the new guy who's looking for the gun is kind of still like he doesn't know what to do because he's not sure of like the situation and doesn't really know what's going on. And both of us are just like bent over, tears streaming down our eyes, like holy shit, did that really happen? All right, so basically the moral of the story here is don't just go imposing your your self opinions on other people in that way especially new gun seekers or gun owners just because it gives us a bad image as gun owners we don't want to be like you know seven rounds is all you need you have to use 45 acp you know like it just makes us look terrible also that's where we get the joke when we say seven rounds all you need like that 45 you know that's where it comes from but essentially, it's just not what you want to do when you're introducing new people to guns. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below. And we have more videos coming soon, so stay tuned.